We've heard proje projections about when health officials expect a surge of coronavirus cases to hit New Mexico and how many ventilators will be short. So what's the state doing about it? News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart has been making the calls. Gabrielle. The governor said Friday that so far roughly 44% of patients needing hospital care for COVID-19 in New Mexico also need a ventilator. So the state is working to try and meet that need. Our relationship with the federal government, while that can be tense, that we are working on every approval necessary that protects New Mexicans to the highest degree. Right now, state governments are already fighting to get more ventilators for their communities. New York, the pandemic epicenter in the U.S., just received 1,000 ventilators from China, and states like Oregon and California are sending more. Here in New Mexico, health officials say they expect coronavirus cases to peak around the third week of April to the first week of May. As of Friday, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham says 18 people were on ventilators in New Mexico. They anticipate needing 1,629 ventilators during that peak, so about 1,000 more than we currently have. The governor says places like Sandia National Labs and the Air Force research laboratory are working to help out on what's called non-invasive ventilators is kind of our our initial thing that we're working with so those are something that's very much like a ventilator except for that it um it if someone uses a mask rather than being intubated Sandia National Labs tells me they're working to fast track FDA approval for their medical devices to distribute them to local hospitals. And the governor's office tells me they're in the process of formally requesting additional resources, including several hundred ventilators through FEMA. Back to you.